Okay, so this is the Citroen Star Picasso. We're here in the car. This is the driver's seat. The battery is under the driver's seat in that hole. And this is the old battery and it's smaller in width than this one. That's the new battery. That's 720 amps and this is 640 amps. 65 amp hour versus 80 amp hour. But let's see, will it fit in there or not? The cables are in way. Okay, so the battery got inside somehow. But the other problem, the next challenge is this one. What is that? This has this threaded element. This has nothing on it. This has this element. There's nothing on that minus. Nothing on the plus. So I have to take off this one somehow. Okay, so these side elements, these are breaking off easily. Very easily. Okay, after a while this ring-like element somehow came off by placing one of these broken elements from the side here onto the top and pushing with this one. With this part I was raising the bottom and with the top part I was pushing down this inside element because without this, this part could not reach the middle. So it was something like this so that there and the top one there onto the middle element and raise this side and then put it over there and raise that side also just make sure you don't break the plastic and take care of that thread also now let's try to place that ring onto this Minus. Something like that. Let's see the thread is still okay or not. Something not right. This should work fine. Uh, maybe I should not make contact right now. Okay, it's finished. This one the minus, so you have to move this part back and forward a little bit and then you can rotate this one, so that's connected. There's still some space there for the cable, here is in contact already. There's hardly any space on this side, so a larger battery would definitely not fit in. This is the maximum size, let's connect the negative also. And that's it. Now the lights should work. Oopsie. Okay, it's not working yet. Let's try the key. Nothing. Oopsie. Here's a weird thing. I can't show you with one hand, but there is no voltage between the minus and the plus. Zero volts. No sparks. That's connected. That's connected also. No spark. Hmm. Okay, so I just reinserted this battery and the lights up here turned on and there was some noise here in the front, some devices, I don't know what. So there is electric connection between those wires and the car itself. So let's try it once again with this battery. Okay, so this battery is back, let's try with this one. And I will touch just a little bit the minus. 
Yep, it's working. It's working now, but why it wasn't working before? Okay, I should try to turn it to the right somehow. I have to stop the video. So I haven't tightened it fully, but it's already not working. Not working. Okay, so I will turn on the lights. Okay, the light is on. I will connect the other one. So the plus is connected. Now I will just touch the minus. The light turned on a half a second and it turned off. Now it's on again. The bottom part is making contact. The one I broke off. Oopsie. So these were making contact. Maybe I'll try to put them back. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to see, but let's give it a try. So the thread does not have any contact with this portion. Let's try it with the multimeter. Okay, so I measured with the multimeter with the diode for conductivity. And as I thought, there is no contact between this, that threaded element and this outer metal portion. That's pretty stupid because this part is not doing anything. It's only holding the entire piece and the electric contact was done here on the bottom by these small elements. Maybe if I put them there somehow they might make contact again. I must try it. Okay, so here's the situation. I just place these small elements there. Let's see if I can screw it on or not. Okay, we have a problem. As you can see, the threaded element is not there anymore. It got stuck inside. Somehow. Okay, so I somehow managed to take this thing out from inside that one by inserting that one inside and pulling apart and meanwhile unscrewing the top element. So this was holding it, something like that. Okay, so let's put it back and I should push it down even more. Okay, now I inserted the side element and I screwed it on and let's test it now. The light behind me should be on, so if I touch this it should light on. Let's see. Yep, it's working. I didn't want it to take it off. Okay, so that's one part. Then. The other part is, when I crank the engine, will this make good enough contact, or if not, it will heat up. And if it heats up, it might melt the plastic, and the melted battery plastic is not a good idea. Maybe the acid can come out. I don't want to force it to turn it, to over tighten it, because it might come off again. But let's give it a try. Take it out from here. Meanwhile, the other battery is here and it's charging my phone. Okay, I will unplug it. So the micro USB cable was out. And for safety, I unplugged that one also. So that light is powered by this battery. Handbrake is pulled. Okay, that's out from gear. Now let's try to start the engine. The lights should turn off. Okay. Hope there won't be any smoke here. We'll crank the engine now. Once again it's taken out from gear. 
Wow. That's nice. It started quickly, but I can't feel any heat right now. Okay, let's measure the voltage also. It should charge up the battery. Okay, let's insert the plus somewhere. Hope it's not an amperage. Yes, it's not. So the battery is being charged. That's a good idea. Okay, that's fine till now. Hope there is no overheating problem here. If it's not making a good contact, let's say the surface area between the two elements that are joined, if the surface area is small and you pass a lot of current through that, that small area will heat up and if it heats up then <laughs> you have a problem. In this case it might melt the plastic of the battery. Okay, so let's try it once more. Off the engine. Let's turn the key again. It starts pretty fast. Of course in a half a second it won't generate enough heat to change something here. Okay, so that's about it related to this battery replacement. Inside this Citroen SR Picasso from year 2000, we have two screws. One screw goes inside there. Okay, and the other screw has a washer also, goes there. Okay, you can see it. Meanwhile, some heat would be nice. It says 28 degrees. Let's put it down to the legs and close these things. Okay, and now the heat should come here after the engine will warm up. Okay, the screws are tightened. Now I want to add a connector, 12 volt connector here to the battery. Somewhere there, the plus should go here and the minus should go here. No sparks, that's good. Of course, when I close down the seat, the seat will come here. So if you copy my invention, make sure you don't make a short circuit. So there is some space, it's not cutting the wire. And that's about it. Okay, so the battery was replaced inside this Citroen SR Picasso. I used a larger battery, larger amperage and larger width. There's a, at least two fingers in length, a difference. So the new battery is a bit longer and is a bit more powerful and that's it. Okay, sincerely the engine starts much faster, of course it's a new battery and as you can see the clock shows 1999, so that has to be set again, but the battery is much better. Okay, that's it, thanks for watching, bye bye.